In this video, I'm going to teach you how to update BIOS B450M DS3H Wi-Fi. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to update the BIOS for this particular model of motherboard from Gigabyte. Keep in mind that these steps are also going to be generally the same, so even if you have different models, you can still follow along. All that you need is a USB drive where you will be loading the BIOS files. It doesn't need a lot of storage, just enough to house these small files. To acquire the files, go over to the official Gigabyte website and in here you will be able to look for your particular model. So just go to gigabyte.com and search for the B450M that you have, in this case the DS3H. You will notice that they have some different revisions. If you are unsure, look at the bottom left corner of your motherboard or check the box or manual to tell which revision you have. Then choose the corresponding one. Now go over to support. Scroll down until you find BIOS between utility and drivers, and then you will be able to download the latest BIOS available. With this file extracted somewhere, so if it is zipped, you will be able to right click, extract here, and then grab this file and put it inside of the USB drive storage. Sadly, I don't have a drive to showcase this process with, but it's as simple as extracting the BIOS file inside of the USB drive. Once this is done, make sure that the USB drive is still inserted into the motherboard, into any of these ports, restart your PC and then go into the BIOS. Now that you are inside of the BIOS, you will find the QFlash function. So choose QFlash at the bottom right or through this menu here. Inside of QFlash, you will be able to choose the option to update the BIOS. As long as the USB drive was properly inserted at the back of your motherboard, it will be selectable from here and when you choose it from the list, you will begin the update. You will see the information about the updated BIOS over here, and you can see the current one. Let this process finish fully and ensure that power does not go out. If, po if power does indeed go out, there is a chance that your motherboard could get corrupted. I hope I was able to help you on how to update BIOS B450M DS3H Wi-Fi BIOS. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.